Hi everyone, so this video <coughs> is about averages, quartiles and, and that would lead on to percentiles. So um, I think it's important to recognize briefly why we care about mode, median and mean. I mean you have seen all this in GCSE but I just think it's important that the media um, or any business person or whoever it is is trying to persuade you towards their agenda by using this word average, you know, uh, average salary, salary at our company is this, or average, um, or average household income from a government point of view is this, and therefore we'll make these decisions based on this, or we want you to react in this way based on the average that I'm giving you. And the average really does, the method of average really does matter towards that. Because for example, Let's say you took um, a classroom of us, right? You took a classroom of us, and um, we all got jobs in the end. And let's say, um, you know, most of us get like 15, well, let's say 20,000 a year, yeah? So 20,000 a year, so person one gets 20,000, person two gets 20,000 and one pounds, right? Um, and let's say the third person, though, gets 10,000. And the fourth person gets 10,000 as well, yeah? And then the fifth person gets 20,000 and two pounds. So let's just do like 10 people, let's say. So six gets 20,000 and three pounds, let's say, um, and 20,000 and four pounds, and 20,000 and five pounds, and then 20,000 and six pounds. And then finally, the tenth person gets nine million pounds as their annual salary, okay? Now, based on this data, then, if it depends on what kind of message I want to put across. So, let's say um, I want to put across that the mean average, or sorry, that the average person earns a lot of money uh, if you graduate from our class. Because if, it's, if I take the mean in this case, this nine million is so big, as you know, you add them all together and divide by the number that there are, the mean then would be about, I don't know, three million. Okay, so that means the average person who graduates from my class will earn three million pounds as their final salary, which of course is rubbish, isn't it? Whereas if I use the mode, the most common number, the only most com the only common numbers are ten thousand, so actually that's quite low. So I would probably wouldn't use the mode, even though that is an average, you know, if I wanted to say that. But if I, I could say, if I want to argue it another way. Look, people who come into my class, they don't do very well um, financially afterwards. See, look, they only earn on average 10,000, so I need more resources to do better at my job, do you see? Uh, whereas we could use the median, which means we line them all up in ascending order, and then we take the middle number, and the middle number is going to be around £20,000, and that just simply because quite a lot of people have in those £20,000. But, you know, maybe the middle number say if we line them all up you had twenty thousand pounds and then the next number is five hundred thousand pounds right so even though that's in the middle this even though that five hundred thousand could be in the middle everything to the left is twenty thousand and below and everything to the right is you know millions and above um so the average really does matter and if if you want to convince me of anything right um say in articles and newspapers and stuff like that, if you want to use the word average with me and convince me that what you're saying is correct, you should state the mode, median and mean and the standard deviation as well, which we'll learn about next year. So that's the end of that, but actually how to do stuff, right? So <coughs> how to do stuff, we know how to find the mean. So in this case, the mean, which is called X bar normally, because you've got your first bit of data, X1, X2, X3, right? means add up all your x's and then divide by the number that there are which you should already know so when you add all these up you get 12 plus 4 plus 6 plus 1 plus 9 etc so 12 plus 4 plus 6 plus 1 plus 9 plus 50 plus 6 plus 11 plus 7 so you get 106 over 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 bits of data right so our x bar is 106 divided by 9 which is 11.78. Okay, fine. But then we can take our mode. Again, it's actually quite uh, difficult to find the mode 
if you've got lots of numbers, if you don't order them. So although for the median, we always need to order our data, right? You have to write all the numbers in ascending order. So why don't we do that now? And we can be systematic. So one, um, we've got four, uh, we've got six, we've got another six, we've got a seven, um, we've got a nine, uh, we've got an 11, a 12, and a 50, right? Cool. So this is now our x1, our x2, our x3, all the way up to our ninth bit of data here, x9. Okay, cool. And so what's our mode? Our mode is our most common number, so we can simply say 6 has been used twice, so our mode is 6. If there wasn't any number which has been repeated or it isn't, it's not clear that that's the uh, number that has the most out of all the others, then there just basically is no mode, okay? The mean, uh, we've already done, but the median, though, we need to do that. So what we're dealing with here is what's called discrete data. So discrete data means single numbers. So one, four, six, these are single numbers. You see, they're not an interval uh, of numbers like time. I could say, oh, it's between 10 and 20 minutes. So that would be continuous data. Uh, whereas if I said it's 10 minutes, 11 minutes, it's 12 minutes, okay, that would be discrete. So discrete means singular numbers, discrete numbers, continuous means an interval uh, of numbers, okay? So when we're trying to find the median, otherwise known as Q2, we're always going to use this formula N over 2, right? So if whatever you've learned in GCC, just forget that, please. We're not doing N plus 1 over 2 or anything like that. It's N over 2. Now, if n over 2 produces a decimal, then you're always going to round up to the next number, okay, to next number for discrete data. Uh, if your number is, a, if n over 2 is a whole number, so an integer, we go halfway between that number and the next, okay? So in this case, Q2, n is 9, isn't it, over 2, so that's the 4.5th bit of data, but as it's a decimal, right, we're going to round up. So this is the fifth entry. So the fifth entry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is 7. So this is our median 7. If we want to find the quartile, so Q1, remember that's the first 25% of the data, then we're going to go n over 4, right? We, um, sorry, 9 over yeah, n over 4. So our formula for Q1 is n over 4, and our Q3 is 3n over 4, because it's 3 quarters of the way, so 75%. So n over 4 is um, our 2.25 value. So as it's a decimal, we round up. So that would always, that, it always round up. It doesn't matter if it's 2.0, no, 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 one. We always, our convention is to round up. So the third bit of data is six. And Q3, so three lots of nine over four, is 27 over four. So that's 6.75. Again, it's a decimal. So we round up to the seventh. And the seventh bit of data, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is 11. Let's do another example of that. So mode, median, mean, etc. Again, we can do the mean straight away. So the mean, x bar, all of them added up over however many they are. So 10 plus 3 plus 7 plus 2 plus 90 plus 5, 16, 11, 4, 18, 20, 21, divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is 17.25, okay? Our mode, can we easily see a mode? Mm. Again, it's hard to see, but I don't think there is. So I don't think there's a number which happens uh, more than any other, so no mode, okay? But that could be confirmed if we write them in ascending order, which we have to do for our median. So again, let's be systematic. So two's gone, um, three's gone. Uh, four's gone, five's gone, so four, five, seven, um, we got ten, um, we've got eleven, what else we've got? Sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, 
So 16, 18, 20, 21, and 90. Okay, so that 90 is really big, so that's why our mean is going to be skewed. So I reckon our median is going to be much smaller than that. So Q2, remember, is our N over 2. And so we've got, <coughs> isn't it 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bits of data. So 12 over 2 is the sixth value. But as it's a whole number, we go halfway between. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Halfway between 10 and 11 is 10.5, okay? And it is much lower than the mean. Q1, so 12 over 4, that's the third value. But again, that's a whole number. So we need to round up. Um, we need to round between the third and the fourth number. So 1, 2, 3, draw a line. Between 4 and 5, halfway across is 4.5. And Q3, 3 lots of 12 over 4. So that's 36 divided by 4, which is 9. So that's the ninth. But again, we need to go halfway between because this is a whole number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So halfway between 18 and 20 is 19. Done.